Hey, it's Mr. Greg. I just wanted to show you guys a website that you can use at home to work on visual tracking. So this website is called I Can Learn, and it's at ICanLearn.com. Um, so I'm going to just show you two parts to this website. One is, uh, and both of these are going to be under this option called Tracking. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. We're going to look at saccades. So saccades is right here and then pursuits. Okay, let's start with saccades. So these um, have a nice description of what saccades are and why they're important at the top. And then it's got a bunch of activities down here below. All right, I'm just going to show you how many there are because there's lots. And then I'm going to jump back up to the top. And let's just click on a couple of these so you can see what they do. I'm going to start with this one called Bug Jumps with Motor Demands. So with this one, you're going to be seeing a bug, a ladybug, um, jumping around on the screen. And you're going to use your finger to point at the bug everywhere it moves. Okay, so let's just give it a try. Okay, so you can use your finger and point to where that ladybug is jumping around. Okay, and see how many you can get. Um, I would probably do this for, I don't know, 15 or 20 seconds and then stop. Maybe you could count and see how many ladybugs you can do in that amount of time and then increase your time um, as, as you want to. Um, you can do that one again, uh, but faster. Um, just below that is one called Bug Jumps Fast. And they give you some nice directions here on what to do. Um, I thought with this bug jumps fast option um, right here, they say you can increase the, the complexity or how difficult the task is by alternating your hands. So you would point to the bug with your right hand to start with, and the next time it moved, you pointed with your left hand and then right and left. Um, so that's kind of a cool modification. Um, let's see, I wanted to show you, they have, if you have printing ability, they do have some uh, things that you can print off. So let's look at alphabet mazes. And this is an example they have. So this is 11 pages worth of material that you can print off if you want to. And um, so what you do is you, you're you starting with a letter sound. So what sound does B make? And then you find the picture that starts that um, starts with that sound. So here's baby. And then from where the baby is, you just track with your eyes and try to get to from where the baby is, follow in the maze, all the way along to where the letter B is in the center. See if you can do that with your eyes first, and then you can go back and use a pencil and do the maze using your pencil. Okay, so just another example of something you can do on here. Um, these are mazes that you just do with your eyes. You don't use your finger. And you're just going to start. It has a little poem down here at the bottom. You start where Humpty Dumpty is sitting and just use your eyes and follow along and see if you can get to the center of the maze just using your eyes. Ooh, that's tricky. OK, lots of stuff on here that you can try. Um, and I think those were the main ones that I wanted to show you. Oh, this is a good one too, alphabet line twines. So on this one, you can use a pencil and you can trace the line that goes from, so you see the bear at the top right hand side, and then you can trace all the way over to where the letter B is, or you can start actually where the letter is and then find the animal that goes with that sound. Um, so again, they have lots of these that you can print off or you can, um, you know, you could potentially just use your finger and just do this on the computer screen. Hopefully you don't have peanut butter and jelly on your fingers when you do that. Okay, so let's go to, that's a few of the things under saccades, and I just wanted to show you one other thing under tracking pursuits. Again, they have a nice description up here of why it's important. And 
here is one called Bug Walk at the top. When you click on that, it takes you to this game that you do, and you're tracking this little ladybug that is walking across the grass. And you're trying to keep your head still and just move your eyes as it goes across. And um, that sounds really simple, but it can be kind of a challenging activity. And um, they also have a modification on here that I think is really awesome. So you can add a cognitive demand to the activity to make it more challenging. And you could, for example, say a girl's name that starts with the letter A, and then a boy's name that begins with the letter A or B. And you just work through the entire alphabet as this little bug is going across and you're doing the tracking activity. So it, it would just make the activity more interesting if you were going to do it for a period of time. Um, they have the same activity just below it here uh, where the bug moves faster, so it makes it more difficult. And I was just going to show you down here at the bottom this game, um, Marbles. Um, this looks like this would be a really fun activity if you have marbles at home. Um, and basically, you are sitting across from your child and just rolling a marble back uh, and forth to each other. You would have more than one marble, right? And so you're trying to catch them underneath a cup. And then you put the marbles that you catch in a cup into one bowl. And if you miss them, then you put those into another bowl. And so you can kind of make a, you know, a competition out of that. Um, so I just wanted to show you a few things that were available on this website. There's more. So if you want to look at more, absolutely go for it. Um, but that is a quick overview of the I Can Learn, looking at tracking, um, saccades, and pursuits. Have fun.